All right, so we are back in business. If you watched the last episode, then you know that we were heading towards Shimoki Dazawa, and we're about to go check out an apartment after seeing two other houses that we were looking at potentially buying and then renovating. But before I show you that, I read the comments from the last video, and I kind of want to just answer some of those questions that people had. As you guys know, we are having a baby soon and that's kind of like the motivating factor in this move. We want to get kind of like a bigger place. Right now we're staying in Shibuya but it's a 35 square meter place and that's roughly I think 370 square feet so compare that to your country. Um, yeah, it's it's quite small. So we're paying about 160,000 yen which is roughly around like a little over around $1,500 about. We're trying to get something that's around that that's obviously impossible. We're looking at around 70 square meters, so that's obviously double. One thing that's like really important to me, um, I think Maiko as well, is to stay somewhere in Tokyo. I guess we did get a lot of questions about why don't you move to um, Chiba or Saitama or Yokohama, it's a lot cheaper there, the housing is a lot cheaper there, or maybe go to Hokkaido, oh or maybe... Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, one thing is like, oh, this channel is <laughs> mainly about Tokyo, I mean that's why you got Paolo from Tokyo, so you do want to live in Tokyo, and one of the motivating factors about staying central is that it's just easier in terms of filming, for at least me, like going out, um, I just really really dislike trains and getting on trains in general so if everything is central it's easy for me to just like go outside and film that's why Shibuya is such a perfect place right now. I don't have to travel on the train as much to, to get to where I need to go. Um, and then also we'd like to stay in a station that is relatively busy because when we like we work from home so if we want to get some food, if we want to go shopping, we want it kind of all in that station without having to get on the train, which just makes life a lot easier. And again, that's probably why we have to pay like a premium in order to do that. I like to stay right by the station because yeah. I wear high heels, I don't want to walk. It makes me like, I, it makes me want to cry if I have to walk over like five minutes. Oh. Yeah, so I, I used to live in this place that was like almost 10 minutes away and I almost cried, so I'm not doing that. I like a big kitchen. Small kitchen doesn't make me want to cook. I, I love cooking, so yeah. like it needs to motivate me, you know? So just to talk about location a little bit more, when I first came to Japan, I moved to Hirai, which was... Um, I don't know where. Yeah, it's kind of like out of nowhere and I kind of realized that, yeah, I live in Tokyo, but... I really don't feel like I live in Tokyo and I would like come to like the Shibuya area to, to hang out anyways. So I decided like, you know, I want to move closer. So then I moved to Gaku Gedai Gaku, which is people call it Gaku Gedai. It's kind of like the trendy younger place, but I kind of made the mistake at that time of moving to a house that was 12 minutes away. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, no, sorry. It was to like 10 minutes, but it, oh, I think it was recorded 10 minutes, but maybe it like took 12. So it was such a yeah. long, long walk every day and it sucks when it's raining yeah. and when you're shopping and you're buying like groceries and stuff. So it was really nice. It was like a designer mansion at the time, um, but it was cheap because it was far away from the station. I have been moving uh, along the day in Toshisen. Yeah. Like, the train line is also really important in Japan and in Tokyo because yeah. everything has, how do you say, characteristics. And then in Tosen is one of the busiest because there's a lot of people living on that train and it's like there's like a lot of trendy, cool cities. Yeah. So, like when you get on the train, the busiest time, like it's super, you know, crazy that like my bag's here and my body's here, you know? it's. It's just like I couldn't stand it, so I don't. I want to avoid that line. Yeah. I think I prefer Yamamoto. Yeah, yes. <laughs> That's why I kind of just like like living here, um, and I just value being able to just step outside, have all of the shopping. The other day, I had to go to the ward office, and it's um, just close by in Shibuya. The, you know, Shibuya ward office is here. Um, I had to get some documents notarized, and there's a notary here. 
then if I have, you need to go to the Apple store or the electronic store, it's all here. It's just, it's just so convenient. So it, trying to find something like that is almost impossible unless you like live in Shibuya, Shinjuku, um, Ikebukuro. So like location is important, um, it's, but it's not the, the biggest factor, I think. Um, right now we want just more space, so we might work almost willing to trade some of that convenience in for the space but not completely give up that city feel. That's why Nakameguro, that's why Shimoki Dazawa, that's why these areas are quite attractive for us, right? But another one of the comments that we get um, is, you know, you don't really need to move so soon because, you know, even after you give birth, maybe like four to six months afterwards, then you can just like still live in a small space it's no problem with a, with a baby. Um, but what a lot of people don't may not understand or may not know is that we not only live here, but we also work here all day, editing, you know, making videos, recording stuff. It was okay when it was me by myself, but since you know Michael yeah. moved in, it's just like just more and more stuff. And just adding a baby is probably not a lot of space, but adding all the baby stuff on top of that is just way too difficult. And then we do shoot here. And if you've ever tried to make videos before, you'll know that a lot of the times setting up the camera and getting all that ready just takes time. And if you have to go through that process every time we film one of the videos inside of the apartment, then it's kind of a demotivator. Right? You don't really want to do it because it's just so much work to set up. So the idea is to actually have maybe a separate room or a separate space where we can just leave a camera up. We can just film whenever we want so that eventually we can just produce more videos for all of you. Right now we have to set up the tripod every time, set up the camera, set up the mic. Just I want to make more videos for you. Right now we're like producing one video a week on the main channel. So having this more, having more space just allows us to kind of do that and just film when we want to. Yeah, so I think in general, just to say it again, we're looking at something with 70 square meters. It'd be great if the apartment had three rooms, but we're okay with a two LDK, which means two bedrooms, living, dining, and kitchen. Some of the nice things to have would be to have an island kitchen. So maybe if we do videos in the future, Michael could potentially do some like cooking videos to show you guys because if it's like against the wall or in like a little tiny room, it's just really hard to film that sort of stuff. Another big thing for me is having just a nice view. I know that's kind of asking a lot, but a lot of it is kind of how you feel. And if I don't, if I feel like I'm trapped like inside of some walls and all I see is I look outside my window and I see the wall of another building or another house is looking into my room I just want to shut the curtains all the time so I kind of want to avoid that if possible that's a big thing for you huh? yeah I think it's a really really big thing for me I, I actually don't really care so much oh and another thing is we would prefer to have 24 hour disposal one of the things you'll find in a lot of apartments here in Japan especially a lot of the older ones is that in order to throw away your trash um, if you don't have 24 hour disposal room, you'll have to wait until the particular day to throw away your trash. So if you have your burnables, you have to wait maybe twice a week and you have to do it like before 8 o'clock in the morning. So... I hate that. If you um, cook, If you cook a lot, worst. it's really terrible, one. Yeah. And then two, it's get stinky. if you have like a baby which is coming soon, mm. we don't want to have diapers. I hear that there's... Yeah, I hear they have like a machine to like shut the smell for each omutsu. Oh, really? Diapers. Yeah, but like I also hear that's expensive. And like you keep on buying the like, cartridge, cartridge, which is also Car Car cartridge. Car cartridge. Uh, cartridge. Car cartridge. 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 I said it right. You said cartridge. 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 Yeah. Cartridge. Yeah. Anyways, that's supposed to be really expensive. Yeah. So. And just thinking of like having that poo in the house for like a week. If you miss a day, yeah, like two weeks, what's gonna happen, right? <laughs> so location, view, rooms, space. Part of us is yeah. like you can give up your thing. I can't give up my thing, and they're different. Yeah. 
And usually if you live by yourself or like if that like something that you can give up matches Then we can go lower the price, but like we can't so that we need everything Yeah, so, so. I, so one of the things like I am I want a nice view for example But I don't need. she doesn't need but she needs to like stay really really close to the station. Yeah, right like within like less than five minutes yeah. so I'm like, oh, look at this place. It has an awesome view. It's like one in, in the tower mansions, but she's like, no, it's seven minutes away. Too uh, far. Too far. That's kind of like one of the things we have to go back and forth on. For now, that's enough information. So you guys have a little bit of background of what we're looking for. Yeah, and thank you for joining us with this struggle. So back to the struggle, the search, the house hunting, apartment hunting adventure. Do you have any comments about the baby? Any updates? Um, he's healthy. I just came. I uh, just went to the clinic uh, mm -hmm. uh, two days ago, and had an echo and everything. And yeah, he's healthy. But I'm having an issue. Lots of issues. Like my kotsuban is Hips? so loose. No, like the bones, like the Your hips. like this bone. Oh really? Like this bone. Okay. Whatever the bone my, on my hip, inside of my hip. That's loose and like I think the muscle in front of it is somehow loose as well. I don't know what's going on, but like it's just like hurting so bad that I couldn't even walk yesterday. Like if I walk, it just hurts so bad. So I was just like laying down with the kotsuban belt. What's that? The kotsuban belt. The, oh, this one. Like you put it here to shape your <coughs> is it pelvis or whatever the bone is here to like be in the right shape it just kind of like tightens everything up yeah because it's getting ready to give a birth and like get getting it loose mm -hmm. so yeah so it was rough yesterday huh it was rough yesterday the day before feeling better today uh, i think so but yesterday i couldn't sleep because it was hurting so bad but yeah, I think I'm feeling better. I don't know if I'm supposed to be like hurting this much though. Like I was thinking whether if I should call or not, but like I just came back from the hospital and he said like nothing's wrong. So I'm like, oh, am I supposed to go to the hospital? I don't know. Maybe we should. You think I should? We should at least call and see. Yeah, maybe. So we're back in Shimokitazawa. Again, I can't record inside, but I can show you images from the internet. This is a newly built 72 square meter 3LDK apartment. It sits on the second floor and the monthly rent is 350,000 yen. So yeah, it's way out of our budget, but we're running out of time and options. So maybe this can be a temporary solution until we find a proper house. So it does have this semi-island style kitchen, which we love. The living room has heated floors and it's the size of about 15 jo, which means 15 tatami mats. That's how they still measure stuff here in Japan, which translates to be about 25 square meters. There's three bedrooms total and the largest being about 10 square meters. And one of the bedrooms has a sliding wall, so it opens up into the living room. It's clean, it meets most of our requirements, and it also has a 24 hour disposal room. But it is seven minutes away from the station, so we'll See. What are you doing, Michael? ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
here is the issue. After we said we'd see the house, we met with a lady and she tells us that the place, the reason why it like became available again was because the person that was gonna rent it um, didn't put down their deposit or pay for like the initial fee, which is like deposit, the key money, which is the gift money, um, first month's rent, guarantee fee, like all of that. They didn't actually send over the money to the company and they've been waiting for a week. So they didn't think that the person was gonna pay. So they op offered it to us. So he was like, fine, we're gonna go see it today. And then when we saw the lady, she was like, well, it looks like they said that they actually might bring the money. We're giving them them until four o'clock tomorrow. Apparently this guy is like maybe a famous in Japan and don't say that detail. So basically this person is a famous athlete uh, here in Japan and apparently they didn't pay it because I think their sponsor was supposed to pay the initial fee and they never got the, the money from the sponsor and it looks like he said that they're gonna bring the money in cash tomorrow which is a lot of money in cash so if they don't bring it by four then it'll open it up to us and we can apply for the apartment which is like which is good news but yeah we don't know we won't know until four o'clock so we have it's three it's 3 30 right now so we have a little bit over 24 hours to wait and see whether or not we can get this place so we're still working we're still searching for a place we're praying for the baby there's a lot of stuff going on and i guess we'll just have to wait until tomorrow and see what happens if you guys want to see if we get this new apartment or not hit that subscribe button and the bell button and i'll catch you guys in the next one